Well, it appears I've been shocked. Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm talking about the new musical, Shocked, which I saw in its first preview performance on Wednesday night. And I'm gonna get way into the review. Um, they actually didn't have a song list, so I don't know what the specific songs were. And I kind of went in not knowing much about this, other than I knew that it was about corn and it starred um, Gray Henson from Mean Girls. And that's pretty much all I knew about the show. And essentially, the show is about a young uh, girl who lives in Cobb County, um, and the corn, um, the crops of that are corn, I think that's how you say it. The corn. The corn dies, and that's their main source of food and economy. And so she goes out to um, the outside world and gets a stranger that she thinks can help restore the corn. And that's pretty much the story. Pretty basic. And, you know, I'd heard such good things about it. Like, I heard, oh, this is like the next Book of Mormon. This is going to give Kimberly Akimbo a run for its money. And having seen it, being honest, this show is not going to last that long. And I... It is in no way any threat to Kimberly Kimbo, and I doubt this will get any major wins at all. Uh, I think it will get. I think it will get nominations. It will win. Uh, it will get nominated for best musical, all that stuff. But it's not going to win any of these major awards. And the reason why I say that is because this show is not bad, but it's serviceable. And on Broadway, serviceable shows can't really compete with other shows. And when you compare Kimberly Akimbo and Shocked, which I saw like two weeks apart from each other, Kimberly Akimbo is at another level to Shocked. In every aspect, in my opinion. And I think general audience members will see that, and if you've seen both shows, you'll either agree with me or you will disagree with me. But I just think Kimberly Kimball was operating at a different level. And in order to succeed on Broadway, you need to be operating at a different level. Now listen, if Chuck was at a, you know, a regional theater or, you know, some dinner show in New Hampshire or Maine or whatever, I would go in and be like, wow, for a show that was at this regional house, that was pretty good, you know, or this is exactly what I expected. Um, but when you're going to see a Broadway show, you need much more quality than that. And this show felt like it wasn't meant to be on a Broadway stage, but meant to be in regional houses and something that's cute, funny, pleasant, sauce, that's going to entertain the whole family. It's going to be that classic musical comedy. Um, and for what it is and where it is, it's pretty exceptional. But we're on Broadway, which is the epicenter of art. And, and, and revolutionary shows and shows that are, you know, not. But, again, I think um, that's kind of how I would describe what the vibe of the show is. And, you know, I think it's not bad. And it's not, it's not even, like, amazing. It's just decent. It's a 7 out of 10. It's serviceable. You know, um... The set was pretty cool. Um, some of the songs were really great. Um, there's uh, one song where um, the main character is singing about how they want a wall, a, a window, not a wall. And I thought, wow, that's a deep line. That's a banger of a line. Um, and um, <clears throat> again, I forget the character's name, so you'll just see it on the screen. But that guy has two solo numbers, two ballads about love, which I thought were just so beautiful. Um, but besides those few numbers, the score isn't anything super exceptional. I thought that the book was funny, and again, the characters were good, but they seemed very service level. And comparing that to Kimberly Akimbo, where I didn't want to leave that world, I loved those characters so much, I was so connected to them. And here, it was just the complete opposite. I thought they were cool, but like, I wasn't like, I need to stay in this world, I, I love these characters so much. And this book is very cliche, and it's very much, you, you know, it's very much a cliche Broadway musical comedy, and it just plays it so safe that it, it becomes boring, it, it becomes eye-rolling, it becomes something that you're almost like, wow, this is so inoffensive in so many ways that it's, n there's no bite to it, there's no spark, there's no oomph to it, it's just very safe and, and familiar, which is very commercially appealing, right, to investors on Broadway, um, but I just think that, you know, and Kimberly Kimbo isn't, like, anything super revolutionary, but it's, it has bite to it, it has oomph to it, it has, um, this quality to it that is a little bit unique, you know, and it's got an interesting, unique pr uh, premise. 
And this show um, had a pretty intriguing concept, but they put they they executed the concept so safe and so um, predictable that it wasn't that it just kind of fell flat for me. Um, and I think that the show could have either gone in two directions, and that's gone completely weird and really like. Um, you know, quirky Monty Python ask. You know, you know. I mean, why they didn't have a ballet, a ballet with corn? I'll never know. Um, or totally shocked. Um, or, you know, kind of in jokes about Broadway, but using the corn m phrases or whatever, and really just getting weird and um, unconventional with it. And yeah, it maybe wouldn't be as commercially appealing to producers, but it would have been so much more interesting. Or you go in the direction which I kind of wanted it to go into, which was making it a drama with light comedy in it, kind of like Dear Evan Hansen. I feel like when the show wasn't funny is when I enjoyed it the most, which is pretty bad to say in a musical comedy. Because I preferred the show when it was dramatic and not comedic. Um, it just was more appealing to me. It had more, like, uh, um, intellectual stim stimu simulation for me than when it was being comedic. Um, and that that's a bad thing to say about a musical comedy. And I just think that they could have done a lot more with this concept, a lot more interesting things. And I, I feel like they just... There's a lot of good potential there with some of the songs, with some of the lines, some of the jokes even you know, are really great, and there's these moments of like, wow, like this is what the show could really be. But the overall like base of it, the overall like thing of it is not those is not like those moments. Um, and a lot of the jokes, I think I I think there were, there were definitely jokes I didn't get, but a lot of the jokes didn't even feel like jokes, it just felt like something that people were saying as like statements and people were just like laughing and I know that with first preview op audiences you know it's gonna be a lot of support, a lot of people coming out so maybe that had something to do with why audiences were so loving it but on Reddit, on Broadway World, everyone's saying this show is amazing, great word of mouth um, and it is selling quite decently for the first two weeks and um, but ultimately I think that you know th it's nothing special and I don't really know who this is for, and I think this is the trend of musical comedies like Mr. Saturday Night, Something Rod, and we all know what happened with those shows. They didn't appeal and they didn't hit with the main crowd the way they should have. If they, if this show came out in the producers' era, Avenue Q era, it might have done better. But I think that musical comedies, um, even when they are unique, like Something Rod, and they just they aren't hitting and they aren't connecting and they haven't felt that that juice, that oomph that will reinvigorate people into it. And I think a lot of audiences members when they go to see shows like this, are expecting something, and, uh, which is what you get with Shock, which is a really basic, stereotypical Broadway musical, when they could see something more interesting, or that's based on an IP where they know their money's going to be spent well. Um, and even people that love these kind of shows are like, this is kind of predictable, and that's when I'm one of them. And I think that we all know how this book ends, and that's with this show not having a very long run on Broadway. I thought the cast was great. Alex Newell was awesome. Um, they were stunning in their song. It got a, a mid-standing ovation. Um, although it was weird because like the balcony was standing, but then the orchestra was in. It was weird. It wasn't a full standing ovation. Um, and there definitely is a lot of great stuff in this show, but it really is not going to be able to. Com it's not going to compete. It's it's not going to win any of the major awards, and I predict it will be closed by Labor Day, but even if it doesn't, whenever it does close, when it comes down to it, this theater will be open come next spring for a new show. Um, and again, this sounds like a really negative review, um, but that's all, I, it felt flat for me, it just didn't really work for me, and the act two just got so cliche and so predictable and safe, and it just was like, Really? Like, I just, and they went for some really low jokes. It just felt like uh, their heart wasn't in it. Their creativity wasn't into it. It was like, this is an original musical, so I definitely want you guys to go and support it if you can. And better to see this than in Juliet or whatever. But it just felt like there was, there was no creativity. Or, like, there was no creativity. Or there was no, like, um... Like, this is the best we can do? Like, really? Like, really? Really? Like, ah... Uh... I just don't get it. I, I and I, I feel really bad saying this because I really wanted to love this show, and there's a lot of things that I did like about it, but um, it just didn't hit for me. And I, I think the general audiences aren't gonna necessarily come to see it, and I, I just don't think it's going to 
appeal to a the general crowd, especially not tourists. I think that there's MJ, there's Anne Juliet, there's uh, Sweeney Todd with Josh Groban, Parade with Ben Platt. Um, I mean, the, when when we come to shows, it's it's about you know appealing to the young kids, the grandparents, the middle aged women, um, the 20 year olds, the 30 year olds, the teens, and so, you know, when you think of those five demos, this show <clears throat> really only appeals to, like, older people and, like, people, like, middle age, but even those people would be more interested in seeing other things, so, and what was interesting is there was someone that was sitting next to me that was kind of, like, my age, I think, and she wasn't laughing as much as everyone else was, and I was in a very middle aged crowd of, of people that... That was really their humor, but ultimately, I just don't think this is going to hit. I, I don't think this... I think this has an audience, and it w does work, but just not on Broadway. I think that when... If this is done regionally in high schools, or, you know, if this was a show in New Hampshire or Maine or whatever, it would have done... You know, that's the audience. That's where it, it will thrive the most, which is tough to say. Um, but there are some shows that just don't fit the, the Broadway atmosphere, and all, all of the things that comes with that. Um, so again, I, I think the show can succeed and have a good audience, but like, it's just not going to be in New York City. I, I really don't think so. Um, so in a lot of ways, you could say, I did get shocked of uh, $130 of my money spent on a show that I was kind of mid on. But you know what? Wasn't the worst Wednesday night I've ever been in, and uh, definitely love seeing Broadway shows, and definitely go see it if you can. Um, and hopefully they'll make more changes, and it can become better. And again, we have so little original musicals these days that definitely go and see that, or go see White Girl in Danger, which I will have a review out for next week. Uh, go see an original musical. Um, but again, if you're asking me akimbo or this, it's akimbo, 100%. Always. Um, but yes, that is my review for Shocked. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.